Hey guys, welcome back to the Sealed Palace Revisited. We are in the Nehru's challenge now. We're about to go get Nehru's love. <clears throat> we did a bunch of things. Um, last episode, we planted the flowers on the island as Young Link over by the ship. And we have to go back there after we're done here. Did a couple other things as Young Link too. I think we finally did Richard, did that stuff. Um, so now we're just gonna progress. Got the iron boots and the sunken alcove as well. I remember this place hung me up really bad um, when I first played this because I wasn't sure what you were supposed to do. Um, you have to shoot the green and blue crystals. Ah, uh, yes. I think I. Ooh! That was close. A little too close for comfort. Oh, we should seek the power bestowed by the three goddesses. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Get wrecked. Okay. If I remember correctly, there's some sort of weird iron boots thing going on here where you have to, like, shoot something. Hold on. So I switch. I'm gonna shoot that from up above. Wait a second. Alright. I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice. I remember that was hard, like landing on that platform in enough time because it's such a small spot and then hook shotting that crystal switch, I remember was tricky. Oh, there's another one? Wow. Do you get anything for killing all the enemies in the room or is it just, oh. Get out of here. Uh, I guess not. But we open the door. Ah. See if we can pick off some baddage. Puh. Bro, why didn't that one? I could have sworn I was going to hit him. Bro. Okay. Ah. Bro. There we go. Still getting used to aiming with the uh, N64 shtick. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, yep. Oh, wow, really? Can I climb on these? I feel like they're low enough. Oh, oh, oh. Not quite. Oh, my God. Let me up. Let me up. Wait a minute. I feel like it's possible. Let me up. Or maybe I have to get up on that while it's coming towards me. Or not. Really? I know these icebergs are super finicky with getting up onto them. Because they like, wibble wobble. Do I really have to like, oh no, I do. Okay, good, good, good. Or I don't actually. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> Give me the heart. Yeep. Yeep. Two pieces. Nice. All right. So I think that that's to get back up there. With that crystal switch. We want to go through the door in the water. Let's a go. Ooh. Whoops. <clears throat> Moving onwards. Now, these places don't have um, like their own dungeon maps and compasses, so it's kind of hard to tell just to make sure that we got in all the spooters. Yeah, I remember being in this room for like an hour trying to figure out what to do. Let me up. Yep. Thank you. I don't know why I could climb that one, not the other one, but whatever. Oh, that was close. Um, yeah. Oh, there's actually a crystal switch there. I don't remember there being like a crystal switch showing on the crystal. Was that changed? Huh. Interesting. Well, that would have made it a lot more obvious the last time that I played this, but it must have been patched since then, maybe, or it just didn't show in the emulator that I was using at the time, which is probably an older version of Project 64. But hey, we found it. It was a lot more straightforward and obvious this time. Like, oh yeah, you need to shoot the crystal switch on the green crystal to, you know, do something. Whatever. That works. Pew. Oops. Pew. All right. Now, as long as no ice bats decide to come in and troll me. Yeep. Ugh. Okay. I think we're good in this room otherwise, right? I don't see anything else except for bats. Okay. Moving on. And the bats are back. 
Bye. Get out of here. Get away from me. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Bubbles. Take that arrow. I'm really glad we actually got the um, bigger, bigger quiver from the horseback archery because we are using a lot of arrows because I just suck at aiming for the ice bats. I'm just getting used to the N64 stick. I blame all of it on totally not my lack of skill. Nah. Oh my gosh, we got the spammy, spammy Octoroks. Yeah, whatever. Get. Yeah, this one's like super obvious. Yay, both crystals done. We can go finish it. But I'm pretty sure there's still a little bit more we want to do here. We need to get over there. Im I don't know how smart it would be to hookshot onto this while it's moving like this, but we can try. Ah! <laughs> I really wanted that to work, but it did not. No matter. Can I uh, not get hit by him? Get! Thank you. You can try, but you're not going to reach me. <laughs> See ya. Loser. Right. I think that crystal switch down there brings us upwards again. We need to step on the switch. Slow moving platforms for the win. I changed the audio plugin. I think it might have fixed the crackling issue. But with this audio plugin, you can't do fast forwarding. But I synced the game to audio, which disables fast forwarding anyway. Thank you. And then we should just be able to eat a servant's way. And eat down. Ow! Must have been just high enough to cause some damage. Probably could have rolled it out, but. Oop. We're underwater again. Yeah. I love the, the little water engulfed hallways. That is such a cool concept of just these little walkways in the water. I really love that. The music here also has like a really haunting kind of vibe to it. This whole game just knocked it out of the park with the music, man. This, the music is just god tier stuff. We'll take that. I think we're pretty much done the trial. Just have to, I think there might be a spooter at the end of this. Yeah. It was really slow there for a second. I'm assuming this is all there is to do in here. Nothing else over this way? Some bubbles? Love that water temple. Alright, cool. Do 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 ding 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 ding. So great. The slow fall though is uh, fun. Okay. And then we move super slow to walk through the door. Well, it makes sense because we're underwater, so we move a little slower in here. Cool. I do love this trial. It's probably my favorite of the three, even though it's like short and sweet. Fairly simplistic, but a really cool design and awesome music, of course. And I go on and on about the music. Oh, we don't even have those on. I think we can get back here. Whoa! But get through this. Mostly painless. Nope. Alright, I think if we play our cards right, we can do a skibbity hop onto that platform and then we're home free. Yay! Oh, that was not how I intended to get up there, but uh, that works. I think if we do a get, we at least get. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I really wanted the other one to hit me and like shoot me backwards. Crap. Okay. Why didn't that work the way that I wanted it to? Come on, man. All right, let's try it this way. Why? Why can't you just grab the ledge like a normal person? Uh, how do I get back over there then? 
Bruh. That's annoying. What I say about getting over here in a relatively painless way? I guess not. Maybe I have to go over and jump from the switch side. That's kind of silly. I hate that, like, you can grab this ledge, but you're just like, dahi, 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 dahi. Anyway, now we just gotta wait for the slow boat to come back. So, uh. You guys come here often? I know I don't. Not to this place. Well, I do like this dungeon, but. Otherwise. <clears throat> it's a little wonky in this area. Because of the non makeable jump. You, I want you to be gone actually, because I don't want you to mess me up on the way over. Oh, yeah, you know what? And that's kind of dumb, because, yeah, I could just ride this platform over this way and have a clear shot. That was silly. Whatever. Made it. Let's go collect our prize. So we got a piece of heart and a spooter in this place. That's good. Cool. Nice little short and sweet dungeon. Let's see if we can get a good uh, thumbnail shot. Probably like right there. Crop the image that like crystals on the right and then the logo on the left. <laughs> the magic of Photoshop. All right, give me my reward. So we'll have access to the fire temple after doing this, but um, we'll do the water temple first. I don't know if there's anything in the water temple that's gonna require like the hammer though. That's the thing, I can't remember. But we got neighbor's love, yay! Whee! I love that. Sweet. All right, let's go back to Zora's domain. Um, and I don't, I don't remember the song. Uh, left, A, right, left, up, left, da, 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 da. There it is. Nice. Do, 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 do. Yes, please. So we got ice arrows as well. Oh, that's right. We finished up the ice cavern area in the last episode as well. <clears throat> because we did the, uh, we found King Zora and got our free Zora tunic after we blew 300 rupees on it, which I thought we didn't have to do, but I totally forgot that, um, King Zora is, was in the ice cavern in the adult finishing section. Let's see what happened with the island that we planted our beans at. Because I don't, we definitely didn't do that. Leave me alone. See what we got. Mmm. Where does this go? Hello? This lead to some super secret area? So far it's just taking us around the ship. Is that all this is going to do? I feel like it is. Maybe that gray boulder has something to do. Bro, why would... The one Zora mentioned that there was more than one cave. This island would be perfect if someone planted flowers here. So what was the purpose of that? Unless it's underneath this, uh, it's got to be underneath this boulder or something. And that's what the Zora was talking about. I'm not really sure what the point of having a hint there that would tell me that this place is, you know, would be great if people planted flowers or something like that. It makes it sound like there'd be something much more significant there unless I'm just missing it. But that was not useful at all. But an uh, interesting little tidbit. And why that song too, like Mido's song there giving that hint is kind of strange, but all right, well, let's uh, dive into the water temple and hopefully it won't take us uh, too long. I remember it being a little bit confusing with the water levels, water temples always are, but I remember Nimpy's was worse. Nimpy's was way worse. Cool concept though, with like the frozen ice, frozen water temple versus like the unfrozen water temple that you go through. Ah. How are you? 
the tantalizing boss door right through the front. All right, let's uh, I guess just dive right in. Oh, literally. That's closed. We got the spiky thingies. We've got a torch. Ooh, maybe. I, I don't know. Am I going to need fire arrows from here? Because I'm not... Uh, not so sure about that torch. Like, if I lower the water... If that, does that torch light up, or do I have to light it? That's the question. Let's get the lay of the land here, because it's been a minute. Let's see what we're looking at. Alright, that's closed, too. Is there anything that's open? Well, this one is. Okay, there's a door down there. So let's go to this one first. I remember this cool tile texture. Right, that's an eye switch. We got spiky boys. Is there a way up here? Yes. There indeed is. Oh well. Huh. Oh. Thing. Ah, lizard boy. Interesting how getting hit by these guys doesn't make me lose my eyes. Well, you know why? Because they don't stun you like in um, Nightmare. In Nightmare, they like do the jellyfish electricity stun when they hit you, which makes you lose ISG. Versus in this where they just kind of tap you, <coughs> which is cool. You don't lose ISG if you get hit by them. But ISG is not really necessary against these ones compared to Nightmare's like OP um, Dynaphos. Because they're actually <coughs> reasonable to kill. Oh. Cool. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Wonder what. What instrument that's supposed to be? That makes like ding, 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 ding. I always love that sound. And when used to right, it really creates that vibe. I'm all about that vibe, man. All right, so that's that. Uh, we came through that way. What did that switch do? Oh, there's a hookshot target over there now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I kind of want to go through the other door that was spoosh. Open over here underneath. See what's down there. Haggle. D pad iron boots for the win. Hello there. Bye bye. What's over here? Oh, you know what I didn't do? Back in the area that I just was, I could have lowered the water level. I should, probably should have done that. RIP! That's right. That's kind of like the Derudo room right there. It's the water temple. What do you expect? I expect nothing less than backtracking back and forth. Be like, oh, we're at, forgot, forgot this. Forgot this. Forgot that. Forgot this. Forgot that. Hey, I made it before it uh, stopped me. Yeah, there's a thing here. Oh! He poked my foot. Change that water. Cool. Oh, well, so you take the fall damage or get hit by these guys. One or t'other. Make sure there's not like cracked walls or something like that. See if I'm trying to find cracked walls before. Open sesame. Hey, hello. 
<laughs> I love stopping him at funny moments to swing my sword or something. This is funny. The only thing I like about the stop token is where they stop you when you collect them instead of just carrying on. Like in Majora's Mask, because you can actually get some pretty funny... funny uh, too late. No, they don't. Is there anything for killing everything in here? I didn't think to try it. Oh, did you drop an arrow? Yes, he did. Don't even try it. I tried it. I think I asked for it, so... No, okay. What about down there, though? Oh, excuse me. That's the um, room right below me that I was going to go to before, but I was like, oh, I didn't lower the wire level like an idiot. <clears throat> I had a feeling that was going to happen, to be honest. But moving onwards. You again. Ooh, Giga Arrow drop. Nice. Full up. I hear you. Alright, we gotta do this. So, only fire arrows for this spot. Ooh, I actually lined that up perfectly. I love when that happens. So, you have one key you haven't used yet. Yeah. And it's gonna be another key. Key number two. Yeah. It's all about them keys, man. And the water level's at its lowest, so. This clam is gonna be back again. Yeah. Okay, so that's the locked door. Durnity, 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 durnity. <laughs> that noise. Hi. Hey! I didn't tell you you could get back up. Get out of here. Closed door. I remember there was something we had to do here, like a secret switch that you had to jump to. See a chest. Pretty sure. Oh, I think long shots definitely the uh, treasure in this place. So I'm not misshapen. Can I reach that chest? Okay. Um, oh, here it is. Open sesame. The compass. Cool. So we got three floors here. Chock full of chests. And... Oh, yeah, there's a switch over there. Can you not hook shot back up here? It's kind of annoying. Oh, wait, no, I can. Catch the edge of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Um, the switch is over there. Leap of faith. Whoa! Ho oh, ho, almost too far. And that opens that door down there. Let's do that first. That's right. Are we going to blast through this place? No problem. I don't know. Don't want to get too confident in myself here. Get. Shall I even go through? Ooh, that's a locked door too. Hmm. All right. Well, whatever. Since it's a locked door, let's go through it. Oh. Gate. Hello. Do 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 do. Oh, it's timed. I don't like a time gate that forces me to run face head, face long into uh, clams. Another one. I hear like like. It's not good. What? Uh, supposed to do? Oh, let's press the switch. Ah! Okay. Uh... Oh, what? Oh, I forgot about this room. Holy crap. Oh, we have a minute to get through it. Hold on a minute! Oh, man, I forgot about this. This is weird. 
This will make your life depends on it. It does give you a lot of time. But how do we wait what? Oh, there's an eye switch there. The water room with all the hands. That's I got PTSD from Sunken Tower OP uh, dead hand. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to hit that again. A lot of things are happening at once here. I don't turn it red because it was blue when we came in. Nothing else in here? Okay. Ah, uh, now the water is lower. Do we have to fight that hand in here or? We do. Okay. Whoop. I ran the wrong way. Alright, come on. Let me do this. Can I jump slash him? Cannot. But can I get the, the, the extra hit in? Ah, uh, almost. What I really want to do is store a jump slash and ISG. Do a jump slash. There we go. Yeah, nice. Two cycle. That's the way to do it. Since you can't jump slash them normally, you gotta kinda get creative. Another key. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I need that because I have an empty bottle, right? I have two empty bottles. Yeah, let's grab that. Don't anticipate us needing our bottles for much else. So we can definitely load up on fairies. Cool. It's so weird having Ferrer's Wind and uh, Din's Fire. Uh, Neighbor's Love before Din's Fire. Oh, and the water goes back up. Is there anything else we can do in here? I think we have to, we have to come back here with the water level like mid. There's also a long shot up there. Yeah, definitely you have to use long shot in this place. Right, the water's definitely not high enough to do anything else, and that gate's closed, so we gotta do this. Thinking out loud. Stream of Conscious. Alright, so we got another key. We have to remember this room. Pretty sure we never like 100% the water temple before because of that room. We didn't go back with all the water levels changed. So I think we're about to change the water level to mid when we go back in the center room again, so... <sighs> get. Yeah, we can get back this way. Get. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, I think we should raise the water. Okay. Not close enough. You gotta be up close and personal for this one. Target there. Oh, you know, probably to get up from below. All right, let's go over to. I don't know why I expected to jump there. I know we can get higher eventually, but I think we might need a long shot for it. I'm thinking. Okay, moving on. All right, so we're on mid now. We should go back to. Not the Ocarina. The lowest area. He's gonna hit me. Ow. That tickled. Back to this area now that the water is mid. Let's see if we can do anything different. Ooh. I actually didn't expect that I was going to hit that. Right, so we can go through here. Oh, no, we can't because... Uh... Huh, okay. 
grab this. Is this another key? Might be. There's a high chance, unless it's just garbage. Oh, I can't open it. We gotta, we gotta do the uh, <clears throat> good old hook shot. Yeah. Bombs. That's not what I want. Get out of here with that. We can go all the way up top, though. We need long shot to get mid because. Yeah, because that brown platform has to be down. I hear a like, like, where the heck is that? He's trying. It must be like up above. There must be another layer to this room. No. Oh. Take that. Do we get a key back for our troubles? No, we get choose. Uh oh. I don't think it's possible. Oh, wow. Two fairies? Two for two. All right. I'll take it. I don't think we can get screwed over with keys here because of the order that we use them. I imagine that it would be designed to not do that, but I don't remember getting that spooner before. I don't think I ever came back to this room to do this properly, but I know that we need a long shot for the rest of this. So, moving onwards. Let's see what else we can do with mid-tier water. You do it. You tried. All right, so we're keyless now. That could be a bad thing. Ow! Don't you do it. Hmm. I foresee a problem. A way to light that torch. Hmm. We might be stuck without fire arrows. And I do not know where fire arrows are. Hmm. Well, that's a potential predicament. Potential predicament, for sure. Let's go through here now that we have water at mid. I don't think it changes much for us, though. Except for that. No. Hmm. It's a potential problem. And there's not even like a torch that's active in here to shoot that unlit one. Unless there's... Unless we raise water back to the top. But I don't really think that that's going to help us. I am kind of befuddled right now, actually. Oh, let's, uh... oh, no, maybe we need to go. Oh, I think we need to go to center room with water up all the way. To mid middle room. I think now we can get even higher in there. With those doors open. I'm guessing. Unless we can't get in there. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to. Unless the doors close when it's uh, when the water's up. But if we can get back down here. This is where we originally came out of the middle room. Which is open. Alright. I'll take it. And then we should be able to get higher in here than we were before. Which is good. We already have map and compass, so whatever the next major treasure is, it's going to be probably the long shot. Yes. All right. So we have two different doors we can go through now. Hmm. Eeny meeny. Uh, ah, <laughs> I don't know if walking out of one of these is going to close it behind me, so... Ooh. Okay, I think we made the right choice. Get rid of these guys. Bye. I'm trying to avoid that, but... Hey! Clip to the wall. Thank you. All these hearts, though, finally. It's like the first hearts that we've gotten, gotten here. <laughs> we've taken some damage. Oh. This has got to be a key. 
Alright, so maybe we're not gonna get stuck without fire arrows. Gimme. Oh yeah. So we open this door. Where does this go? Oh, this is back in the room where I was hearing the like like before. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see you down there. Sniped. Nice. Alright, so it looks safe enough to go down here without having to worry about getting stuck. Another chest we gotta, uh... That's how it's done. More bombs. You like to give me bombs for no reason. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Oh! Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, so that's that door where I thought I might need fire arrows. Which we don't need then, which is good. Whoa! Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Go away. Just let me go down. There we go. Go back to the mid. It looks like we're going to need to come back to that room where the like like was with the water lower because there was two torches there. Which makes me feel like there's something that's supposed to be done there. Hmm. Alright, so I went through the right door the first time. <clears throat> Let's go to the left one and see what happens. And I keep forgetting I can't jump there, but hey, I grabbed the ledge. Okay. Reload. Jump that way. Alright, hanging the left leads back to the like like room. Let's go this way this time. That's the play. Unless there's actually nothing else to do in this room. Whoops! We do have another key now though, so that's good. But where can we use it? Hmm. We need to be back in this room when the water is lower because of that. I'm actually gonna wanna pick off this like like again so it doesn't cause us trouble. Actually, he walked off the edge of stuff. Hmm. This is not going the way I wanted it to. <laughs> That's definitely a thing. The water has got to be lower for that. But if we lower the water, we can't get back up here. Which is kind of annoying. There's an area up there. I'm getting confused. All right, we have another key, so that's got to count for something. Where did we? Where were we able to use another key? That's the thing. Hmm. Maybe back in the. Maybe back in the room that we were able to go all the way up in. I have a feeling I'm going to get borked by another uh, spiky thing. Or not. They must have decided it wasn't worth it. Let's go back this way because I feel like this room plays a lot of parts in the progression of this place. Well, no, we used a key up there to get inside the Skultola room, so... Unless we need to lower the water again now that we there's a key door there but we can't get through there without the water being lower this just was a oh we can't even get through that door because the water's all the way up huh um, I hear another spooter too yeah we can't do anything else in this room until the water is lower again Having the water mid let me get to the door that was already open up there. The key one we need the long shot for because we'd have to be able to hook shot to that thing. 
which is not an option right now. So this room, we can't do anything else in until we have the long shot, it looks like. This was the dead hand room, which we did. There's got to be something else we can do. Oops, I pressed the wrong D-pad button. This is where things start to get hairy. Because now I'm like, uh, now what? Maybe we got to lower the water again. We haven't done that in a minute. And we've been in and out of a couple doors. Maybe we can get back through doors that we've opened. With the water level below again? I don't know. But there's also a reason that torch is there in the main room, so I don't know. Oh. Unless there's more we can do by going through doors in here, but at mid-level? But that door is just going to lead outside again. And there's nothing else in this area to do, right? Boy, oh, yeah. I'm starting to get stumped. And yeah, that just leads back out there. Never mind. Alright, so to lower the water again, we need to go down here, I think it was. And rise to the top. No, that was the Ruta room. It's the one above here. I'm getting confused. Up here. Alright. Let's send everything down again and see what we can do. Ow! Hit me in the toe again. Whoo, this place, man. I'm telling you. It's brutal. Do -do 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 -do. Don't do it. Thank you. We went that way already. Alright. Now we're back out here. That's still closed. That way is no go. That's where we just came out. That's a dead end. No, this is where we just came out. I'm getting poozled. The confusion is mounting. Going back in that room is no good unless I have the long shot. There's no choice but to go back in here. Which immediately becomes an issue because... Oh, I didn't think you'd get up there actually. Can't get to the tippy top without long shot. Hmm. Actually, we can't get to the tippy top at all because there's not even a target up there to hit. Man, I am stumped. Right, maybe water, water needs to be mid again. I want to feel like that door that we came out that had the torch um, on it is open now since we've come out of it, unless it doesn't do that. I don't know. And that's how we get back to the like-like room. <laughs> so we swim around this way, it should lead us to the door with the torch in front of it. But I don't have high hopes that the door is open. It is not. So maybe we are borked without fire arrows because we have to get into that door to get back into the like-like room where there was torches. 
which has to be something as well. Huh. And where the heck are fire arrows? I don't remember where fire arrows are in this. Unless we're supposed to have done fire temple first. But I don't know about that. Man, I don't know, guys. Not looking good. That just allows us to bring the water back to the top again. Huh. I'm going to say we're borked without fire arrows, which, dude, I have no idea where the fire arrows are. So Navi's telling me, uh, still telling me I need to go seek out the goddess's blessing. So maybe I do need to do Din's uh, trial and get Din's fire through that, but I don't know if this will be the answer. But I guess we'll find out. Since the only, pla other, only, only other place I can think of to go. Since we don't have fire arrows, but I don't think that we'll find fire arrows. Well, this will get us Din's fire, which will allow us to at least light some torches. If we need to, if we can get through it. That's the real question. Let's see. Ah. Ooh. I see that I switch. So maybe Din's fire is the answer, not fire arrows. But I also don't remember where fire arrows are, so like we need to find those eventually, probably. Unless they're not required. Don't know. There's that. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot we have the uh, cool fire temple music. Yeah, let's get some slugs. Okay. Let's see how far we can get in this. Don't know if we need a megaton hammer for this place from fire temple, but we'll find out. Ooh, that was close. I expected it to jump, but it didn't jump. Oh yeah, I love that. It's a driving beat in the low. That's good stuff. Uh, let's see, no problem. Oops. Ow, I didn't expect it to blow up right away, and I got hit by the top piece too. Bro. Um, 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 um. That bat was gonna come in and get me. Not today. Bye bye. Okay, so we should be able to hit these torches actually with uh, ooh. our arrows. Eh. One. And two. Nice. Strike! Yep! Oh my gosh. Yep! Um, how do we get over there? Oh, there's a thing here. Uh, okay. Wait a minute, do I have to circle around again to get back on this? Hoi! I don't know if there's a point in killing all the cats. Nice. But just want to make sure in case something happens. Cool. Nice. You done? Cool. Oh, frick! Oh, jeez. That one had me convinced. No, no, I didn't mean to open it again. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to open the door again, man. That was kind of dumb. There's nothing there. We did open a door though. Where was that? Huh? Where's the. We opened the door. Where was the dough? That just sinks. Where was the door that we opened? Huh? Oh, wait. There's something. Hold on. Hold on, then. Did I just miss it? 
Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Silly me. <laughs> so cool. Whoop. Ah, uh, my favorite. Come at me, bro. Aren't you, uh, why aren't you spinning? <laughs> um. Um. What is purpose? That opened the door. Huh? What am, what's, what's happening here? Oh. <laughs> I don't really understand why that was the way that it was, but uh, it works. Bombs! Thank you much. Uh, now we're up above. Yeah, I guess if we can do this all the way, then Dim's Fire would be the answer for those torch problems I was facing earlier. Whoop. Ah, you. And we gotta do this the old fashioned way. Turn time to charm. Ooh, there's chest up there. I missed. I missed. Get no. Bye bye. Yay. Ooh. Oh, a large chest. There's no maps or compasses here. As far as I know. No. Hmm. What is this then? Hmm. Oh. Okay. There's the fire arrows. Then do we get dense fire at the end of this too? Do we get two rewards? Huh. I do not remember getting fire arrows here. And more bombs. If they just can't, if they can't think of anything to put in a chest, they just give you bombs. Wow. Okay. Fire arrows here, huh? Well, that answers a couple problems. Well, now we can get the eye switch that was in the sunken alcove that was blocked. Huh. Interesting. Oh boy. I think we get the crouch and then backflip over the other one. Uh, not quite what I wanted to do. All right, no, that's not that's not the way to do it. I have to jump over it, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Wasn't expecting that actually. And that opens the gate at the bottom. Does this fall? Whee! Oh. oh. <laughs> well, uh, now that's gone. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeet. Ugh. My ankles. There. It's fine. I'm feeling fine. I feel totally fine. Is this the exit? Oh, wow, the exit's right there. Oh. Oh, that goes back out of the sacred realm. I didn't want to do that. Oh, hopefully I didn't reset everything. That would be bad. Oh, wait, no, is it... Okay, still open. <laughs> I went out the wrong door. I'm an idiot. In. Hup. Oh. Okay, is this exit? 
It is... And we still get to inspire too, I guess. Huh, so two for two, fire. Wow, so that was the answer. I was in the water temple too early. Interesting. Wow. Now that's Pog. All right. So now we can finish the water temple. We can do the sunken alcove stuff. There was the grave. Hold on, we should do that real quick. Because that was a quick fire arrow stop we can make. And then I think we'll uh, call it for this one and then finish the shadow, uh, finish the water temple in the next episode. And uh, we'll be home free. I do not remember. I couldn't remember where fire arrows were at all. And I totally forgot that. You got Din's fire and fire arrows from Din's crucible. Wow. Well, that was the answer all along. For some reason, I thought you needed fire arrows to do Din's crucible, because I seem to remember have seeing a frozen eye switch, but the eye switch I was thinking of must have been the one that was in the, um, in the, like, little lava spewing thing. Get, 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 ow. Get, get, get. Thank you. All right. Now we're cooking. Can't switch. Can't switch the arrows with the L and R button. I like that feature for like the randomizers and stuff. Ooh. He came out and was like, "You're dead." Just kidding. You are. Oh, hearts. I'll take that. Was this just a piece of heart here or something? Or? Uh oh, someone's in the floor. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, he's coming in hot. We clash. Oh my gosh. Dude. That was a bad idea. Get. Pretty sure this is just like a piece of heart or something. We do still need two more bottles, so maybe it'll be a bottle or something. I just don't remember certain things. I remember the things that like really hold me back, like the gold scale, the boots, and the whole thing. Piece of heart. You've collected three pieces. Nice. All right, let's go back to. Uh, um. There it is. Go back, finish the water temple, and then we'll be good to go. So I think that's what we're going to call it. We'll finish the water temple in the next episode. We feel like we've done most of it. Just uh, stuck without the fire arrow. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a comment and tell me what you think. Um, I'm sure a lot of you in the comments were like, you know, the fire arrows are back at Dennis Crucible. You should have gone at Dennis Crucible. Burr, burr, burr. I know. I know. I should have thought to go there before. But as always, hope you liked the video and I'll catch you in the next one, whatever that may be. Until then, take care.